Welcome back to my channel. This story is penned by Noah Zucker Pale Saints were an English alternative rock and shoegazing band formed in 1987 in Leeds by singer bassist Ian Masters, guitarist Graham Naismith and drummer Chris Cooper. The group began as a jangly indie pop band influenced by Primal Scream's early sound. By the time they recorded their first EP, Barging Into the Presence of God, released in 1989, the band went into a direction that displayed a mix of Ian Masters' ethereal, choirboy-like vocals along with dark atmospheric and noisy pop tunes. Ashley Horner from Edsel Auctioneer briefly joined the band on guitar in the same year. The band was signed to 4AD Records after their first London show by the label's chief Ivo Watts Russell. Masters continues to create music, often of an experimental nature. His first project after Pale Saints was Spoonfed Hybrid with former AC Temple member Chris Trout. They released their self-titled debut album in 1993, and their second album, Hibernation Shock was released in 1996. In 1994, Masters, recording under the name Pale Saint, released the album Noise Bucket on Time Stereo, the label run by his name is a live auteur Warren DeFever. Masters and DeFever then teamed up and began to release music as ESP Summer. In autumn 1998, Masters released a 7-inch EP under the name Friendly Science Orchestra entitled Miniature Album, which became an NME single of the week. As of 2005, Masters lived in Japan. His projects, including Wingdus with Mark Trammer of Knack and the Montgolfier Brothers, can be viewed on his website, The Institute of Spoons. Barham has gone on to record melodic electronica under the name Kuken. She has released two albums on the Karaoke Cock label, Kids with Sticks in 2001 and the collaboration Kuken Meets Map Station in 2003 with Stefan Schneider of Tarikoko Rod. Horner is a film producer based in Newcastle upon Tyne. Brown went on to play with Warm Jets, Rialto, and White Hotel before briefly returning to Canada in 2001, then relocating to San Francisco in 2002. There she played with local rock noir chanteuse Ricarda Parasol, appearing on her Here She Comes EP and the Our Hearts First Meet album. Graham Naismith, the founding guitarist of the indie pop slash shoegaze band Pale Saints, has died at age 56. The musician passed away on April 4, according to a Facebook post from his subsequent Project the X-Ray Eyes. No cause of death was listed. We're devastated to say that our guitarist and friend Jock Naismith died recently, the band said. He was a great guitar player but an even better guy and we're going to miss him like you wouldn't believe. He was a much-loved husband and father and our thoughts are with all his family. We managed to record a load of new songs with Jock over the last few years, hopefully they'll be released in the future. Naismith created Pale Saints with frontman Ian Masters and drummer Chris Cooper in 1987. The guitarist remained a member of the Leeds band until they broke up in 1996. The group's studio debut studio album The Comforts of Madness was released by 4AD Records in February 1990. The LP made it to number 40 on the album's chart and the UK Pale Saints followed that up with In Ribbons in 1992, which made it to number 61 on the chart. The group's final album Slow Buildings was released in 1994 following Master's departure. Never miss a story, sign up for the Q newsletter for the latest music news on all your favorite artists, all in one place. Naismith and Cooper went on to play with Lorimer, The Program, Flies on You, Father Figures, and The Terminals, Stereogum reported. The Terminals became Cyanide Pills after Naismith departed. He and Cyanide Pills member Cy Shield started another group called The Long Shots in 2010. That project eventually became the X-Ray Eyes. Music was his passion. I never saw him get angry or frustrated with anyone or anything in all the time I knew him," Shields said in an Instagram post. He really was a lovely bloke and I miss him already. Naismith also worked as the resident engineer at the Joseph's Well studio in Leeds. That's where he set Shields in 2000. Fans mourned Naismith in the comments below the Facebook post. That's a shock, sorry for your loss he was a top bloke, one person said. So very sorry to hear this. We have been looking forward to seeing you guys again. I hope his family knows how much joy he brought to people through his music. R.I.P. Jock, said another. Sorry to hear this Jock was a top man, a different commenter said. Thanks for the amazing tunes and for many bands his patience in sound engineering at Joseph's Well. Please subscribe, comment, like, share and follow me for more content. Please support my channel send it to cash app colon dollar director 327 thank you for your gift it is greatly appreciated. Thank you for watching.